Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A, where you go over all latest news that happened during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. If you have a question you want to ask, just ask it in the comment section down below, and I will answer it before the end of the show. Now, I do want to tell you guys something. I am using a different mic than normal, so please let me know in the comment section if it sounds okay. Uh, it looks like the audio is picking up just fine, but just let me know and make sure that we're not having any interference. All right, now let's get to the first big topics, which is the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the Galaxy Watches 4 series. And what are they missing that Samsung really didn't go over? So, the Z Flip 3 has something missing that, to be fair, every Z Flip has been missing. And that is that the Z Flip series has never had Samsung DeX. Now, it's, it's weird why this isn't there. Like, it totally should be. There, there, there's no reason for it not to be there. But it does look like that we're not getting it this time around. So... Again, if you really love DeX, if you're really into it, which we're getting a new uh, thing in the studio, which we just got today, did the unboxing. It's a laptop for DeX. So it does have its advantages for that purpose. So definitely take a look at this if you are looking at the Flip 3. It's just know something that it doesn't have that the S series, S21, S20, all of those do have, and that is DeX. Um, unless you're using it for productivity, you might be fine, but that's just one thing it, it does not have. All right, then what about the Galaxy Watch 4s? Well, it looks like they are missing two features, and that is they will not come with Google Assistant at launch. However, that will be coming down the line, and it's back and forth from different articles uh, if this will come eventually, but it will not come with Google Pay. So the assistant you have built in is Bigsby, which obviously, you know, we want Google Assistant more than Bigsby. Um, we don't know, we don't have an exact ETA on when we'll get Google Assistant, uh, but I am hoping we get it by October. That will be the launch of all of Google's hardware. So I would hope we would get it by then, and I think that would be a great big uptake, basically, in terms of Google hardware and Samsung's hardware getting that software update. Um, so we're hoping we'll get it by then, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I think that's definitely, the Google Assistant is one of the biggest things that we were looking forward to to seeing in these watches, although it's not there. Now, Google Pay, quite frankly, I don't care. I've never used Google Pay. I have Samsung Pay, and I can't think of one reason why Samsung Pay isn't superior. I believe it actually has more credit cards than Google Pay, too, uh, in terms of companies. Um, so, yeah, I, I would definitely be more happy with Samsung Pay, so that doesn't bother me too much. But let me know what you guys think. Um, and for those of you wondering, yes, MST did not return, it looks like, to the Galaxy Watch 4s at least not from what we've seen, it's all NFC still. All right, then we have some other hardware news, and this is coming from, again, popping up, which is leading me to believe maybe it just might be true finally. Now, again, we've only heard so-called rumors for a while now in terms of the Pixel Fold, a foldable phone by Google. Um, basically we had heard these kind of plans got scrapped early on due to the, uh, you know, shortage of everything. And that's what we thought. But with this processor Tensor being released and, you know, developers getting to play with it now, there are four things that are supposedly linked to this processor and a Google product that uses Gcam. And that is the code names we already know for Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. But then we have two other ones. And um, there was Slider and Passport. Now Passport is believed to be this, which is the Pixel Fold. Slider though, 
again, we don't know what it is. Could Google have been thinking about a phone that does a slider opening? My guess is that this does not confirm that we're getting a foldable Pixel, but more so it confirms that Google was testing these things out. They were testing out a slider version. They were testing out a foldable version, but I don't necessarily think we'll get it. I will say if Pixel does release a foldable with the Pixel 6 camera in it, I am so in for that. Like, again, it would have a better camera than the Galaxy Fold 3 at that point. So that would be very interesting. And what would be very interesting about that is it would force people to choose not just between Samsung and Google, but it would force people to choose what do you really want most in your foldable? Because the Google Fold would not have a pen, but it would have way better cameras. For me, I have to admit, I don't like stock Android interface. I really don't. But for a foldable with Google camera quality, Oh, I would probably leave the Fold 3 and S21 Ultra for that. Let me know your guys' thoughts, but that is interesting news. Again, these could have been prototypes that, again, didn't pan out right, but we don't know what Passport is, and we don't know what Slider is. Passport is believed to be this, and we don't know what Slider is. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, ask all your questions as well that you need answered. Two more things, and that is, if you are planning on trading in for the Galaxy Fold 3, apparently on Samsung's website, as EvLeaks pointed out, you can actually trade in up to four devices. Now, this is four devices you would want to have, of course, because, like, you, you can't trade in, you know, like, they, they do trade in LG, but you get nothing for LG. I think... My daughter's phone got like $80 trade-in value for LG. It's like nothing for LG phones. Um, I was still sad to see you could not trade in OnePlus phones, at least not at launch. I, I don't know if they've updated it, but that was one thing I was like, man, I, that really sucks. And then finally, we have some big news concerning the S22. And this might be huge, for people that want the Galaxy Fold, or sorry, not the Galaxy Fold, the Galaxy Note. If you want the Galaxy Note 22, which again, I think they're gonna skip to 21. If you want the Galaxy Note 22, this is huge. The Samsung Galaxy S22 will have the Snapdragon 898 processor. So it's just Qualcomm's upgraded version. It is not getting the processor that Samsung is highlighting at the end of this year, which is the new Exynos chip with AMD graphics. Why is that so big? Because that, that processor has to go on a flagship. It has to dominate. And if you don't put it on the Galaxy S22 series, well, there's one other series you put it on if you really want it to be the best of the best. And that leads me not to the Fold 4 next year, that leads me to a Galaxy Note 22 getting the Exynos processor with AMD graphics. So that's huge for me. That That is like, that is something that I'm like, wow, that is impressive. Let me know what you guys think because I am so psyched for us to get the return of the Note with Samsung and AMD's best offering in terms of processor and graphics card next year. Exynos has come a long way in one year. And with AMD graphics added to it, I think we're gonna get something pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I am really, really interested to see how it'll do. All right, now let's get to your questions in the comments section so I can answer them. 
And again, if you have any questions that you want me to answer, just ask them in the comment section, and I will answer them before the end of the show. Okay. Um, got the Flip and the Watch 4. So, by the way, I did buy, for now, I don't know if I'm going to return anything, I did get the Galaxy uh, Fold 3, the Galaxy Flip 3, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, and the Galaxy Watch 4. The Classic is for myself, the regular watch is for my wife, and then both phones I'm going to be testing out, and I will most likely return at least one, unless I'm just blown away, I'll keep both. But uh, that is what I got. I also got the Buds 2, I did pre-order those as well. Um, and I already got in, which you will get a video on this um, tomorrow night or Tuesday morning. The Galaxy S Pen Pro. So we are getting that one in. You have the Z Fold mode. And this pen is huge. Like huge. Just to give you an idea, again, I showed this in the video, but for those of you who've watched the live stream this far, this is a tablet pen. So this is a tablet pen. This is the Pro. That is a huge difference, even between a tablet pen and a Pro. Take it up a notch. And add it the s pen for the s21 ultra which will most likely be about the same size as the fold so bit difference in terms of pens and thickness that video will be coming uh tomorrow and i was surprised by some things about it so make sure to check it out all right um Hey Ricky, how are you? Should I upgrade from the Galaxy Watch 3 to the Galaxy Watch 4? Is it worth it? Thanks. So here is actually my advice. If you have any Samsung Galaxy Watch, you should upgrade. You can wait maybe, not get this year's and get next year's, but it is definitely that you should upgrade because the old Galaxy Watches will not be supported for very long. The newest Galaxy Watch, the Galaxy Watch 3, will only be supported until the end of next year. That's the newest one. Everything else, the Active 2, till the end of this year. The Galaxy Watch, not supported, uh, not more updates anymore. So basically what Samsung said was that they would get three years of software updates from the date they released. That's what they were committed to for the existing Galaxy Watches. So, because Galaxy Watch 3 came out last year, it's going to get supported until the end of next year. Since Galaxy Watch Active 2 came out two years ago, then it will only get supported until the end of this year. So basically, as it went back each time, you're getting less and less updates. The Galaxy Watch is already going to be done with three years. So, yeah, just letting you know, or sorry, if it was three years of updates, it was three years of updates. So it should be, yeah, two more years and one more year and then and then the end of this year. So basically, most of the watches will no longer be supported. So I did I did actually misspeak then. So the Galaxy Watch would be the end of this year. The Galaxy Watch Active 2 will be the end of next year. And the Galaxy Watch 3 should be the end of um, 2023. Yeah. Or not the end of 2023, when it released, basically. So, September time for all of them. Uh, but yeah, so that is going to be how it goes. Uh, because of that, you know, the current Galaxy Watches are going to get a lot more support because it's an entirely different operating system. So, I would recommend it. For the Galaxy Watch 3, you get a $185 trade-in for Samsung. So, that's almost a $200 value. Pretty good. Uh, for the Galaxy Watch you get a $100 trade-in, and for the Galaxy Watch Active 2, I'm not sure how much. I think you might get about the same amount. And the Gear 3, Gear S3, you get a $100 trade-in too. Um, so yeah, I would definitely trade in the watches because of the support that you're gonna get on the Galaxy Watch 4 series. 
Um, I traded in my Watch 3 for the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. A little worried about uh, how long the battery life lasts. Uh, we will see. Yes, I'm not going to lie. It does seem like a downgrade of a battery life. Now, it's an upgrade in terms of Google OS. Google OS software typically did only last about a day. This is promising about two days on Google OS software. So overall, it's better than the standard Google OS, but it's not as good as Tizen. However, this is again, a different operating system and that's why the battery life is different. Um, got the Flip, Fold, and Galaxy Watch. Uh, been selling and saving for a long time. Hey man, if you can rock all those, more power to you. Not even I'll do that. Um, my watch tree battery doesn't last uh, long at all. Got it. Uh, well, I mean, if, if it's gone bad, if the, if the battery's gone bad over time, which all batteries do, then yeah, it's all better to trade it in then for sure. Um, I saw the two new Samsung phones at Best Buy. I can't help but think they're gimmicky. Am I the only one that thinks this? Um, no, it really is an entirely different experience when you use them. And it's such a wow factor of being able to open your phone up, get a bigger screen, have just the entire different look of it. So is it gimmicky? I mean, you could say any feature really is gimmicky because it, it, it all depends on who's going to be using it. Oh, wow, this has an awesome camera, but I don't shoot photos. That's a gimmick to me, right? So it, it, everything is a gimmick if you don't use it. But I will say, when you use these devices, you definitely, you definitely see the difference and see how much of a difference it is compared to a standard smartphone. So again, it, it, it's, you can say it's gimmicky, you can say any feature is gimmicky, but I will say that it is an entirely different experience than your regular smartphone. It really is. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just flooded. Everybody drink. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Hey, thank you guys. Uh, I think it was Rudy. Uh, thank you for, I guess we had a spammer in, so thank you very much for that. Um, going back up, we did really have a whole bunch of questions that loaded and I can't see where we ended. Um, Makes sense that they'd uh, want Samsung Pay over Google Pay. Exactly. I should go to Best Buy and play with them for a try. Yeah, uh, so Best Buy, from what I heard, has them. Um, I heard, though, that the Flip 3, you can't actually fold. Uh, but the uh, Fold 3, you can't actually fold uh, there. Again, they have to have security because you know people are going to try to steal them, obviously. So it is what it is in that case. It's cool uh, to see all carriers working with Android RCS. Yes, finally, uh, all carriers have agreed to it. Verizon was the last holdout. So we should be switching over now to RCS moving forward, uh, which is basically like an instant messaging style text messaging moving forward basically from now on. Um, that is moving forward. All Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile phones will come with Samsung messaging as a standard default messaging. Uh, sorry, that's Samsung. Android messaging for all standard messaging uh, that includes RCS. Um, which, again, it was... There was some uh, video that I saw this past week. I forgot what it was, but it was basically like why do carriers keep trying to do something they can't do it that well and then uh we have to wait so long for android to get it they explain like soft card if you remember that um which was basically the carrier's version of google pay and samsung pay and it failed miserably and then finally google pay was the one that they all were okay with it was just carriers have delayed and messed up android more than any other thing out there um, the Best Buy Samsung guy said the Galaxy Watch, um, said the Galaxy 4 watch is delayed. They probably mean the display, not the actual watches. The watches have not been delayed. 
Um, so they probably mean the display of the watches, I'm guessing. Uh, but to be quite honest, they wouldn't know that information. I used to train those guys back in the day, try to, you know, make sure that they knew everything. I didn't really train them, but you know, I trained them. <laughs> I tested them. Uh, um, do you like Android? Yes. Um, how is it going with the new Samsung TV? I absolutely love my new TV. At first it was a little big, like I was like, oh man, this is really big, but I did play, um, I think the greatest thing was like the new shows, like the Loki show was watched on that. Um, what if was also, uh, but like, um, Jungle Cruise we watched on it, which looked absolutely beautiful. And then, um, what was the other thing? Gaming wise, I did Final Fantasy, um, the update, the interlude looked absolutely phenomenal on there. Um, so yeah, no, Samsung TV is great. I still have to do all the bells and whistles to figure out to fully do a review, but I, I literally recorded about six videos today so i'm trying to catch up as best i can before the influx of fold three and flip three videos that i'll need to do as soon as i get those devices um need an upgrade the sa is only 50 dollars trade in the 10 is 150 Okay, sorry, we have some back and forth going on. Okay, uh, yes, the Pixel Fold seemed to be better than the Fold 3. I feel it camera, oh yes. The S22 shows us how good the Note 22 is going to be. So ready for the Note 22 with SD storage? I don't know if I'd go that far. I don't know if Samsung will go back and put bring back SD cards. They have before, but we'll have to wait and see. Best guess for launch of the S22 Ultra? The S22 Ultra should be February. I, I'm almost positive, 80% positive it'll be February. Um, hashtag side pen. Um, what kind of case is that, uh, is that for the S Pen? So uh, for the S Pen Pro, this actually is the case that it comes with. It's like a little uh, flimsy kind of uh, case, but it's stiff enough, like you can't bend it all the way, but it's just something so that the tip will be protected when you travel. And it comes with it. Whoa, that's a huge pen. That's what. Uh, uh, what's the IPX rating on the watches? Um, we're past IPX ratings. We're like three meters down or 30 meters down. It's, it's like military grade watch resistance from what I know, uh, now, at least for the past two generations. Um, so I don't, I mean, it's, it's greater than IP68, uh, which is, was the standard from before for water resistance. Um, yeah, I don't know which, what it is now, but again, it was military grade for the last one. So you could actually go like scuba diving with it. No problem. Uh, you have to put it in the specific mode. So the mode is, um, basically like makes a noise and, uh, goes into submersive mode. And then you hold this down for two seconds to unlock the water lock and it ejects the water that would be in there. Um, hey, Rudy, he got it. That's what she said. <laughs> um, I'll... Get the Galaxy Watch next year following uh, years five and six. Hey, definitely. Like, you can get it whenever you want. It's just the, the upgrades are going to go less and less. And that's something that, you know, you want to make sure you're on top of. Well, a whole bunch of questions loaded. Everybody drink.
Um, let's see. 150 for the Active 2. Okay, so that's not that bad, honestly. I mean, it's better than the Galaxy Watch, which the Active 2 should be, but it was, like, priced lower for a while. Oh, will you be able to make calls to the Galaxy Watch? Uh, you can make calls if you have the LTE version. If you do not have the LTE version, um, you can't make calls without the phone. I was screen on the full two seems to be dying uh glad seems to be a dying dying glad i'm getting the full three. Oh, okay just in time spigs this is not youtube russian tech guy i'm guessing that had to do with the uh the spammer Congrats on 350k. Yeah, thank you, man. I, I finally got to 350,000 subscribers. Very, very happy. I mean, I'm just, you know, it's it, it was something that like I had I had hoped for so long to get to because it's like 100,000 250k is kind of, but really it was 350 when the when sponsors and other people start taking more of a look at you. And the next big one is 500. If I if I get to half a million, that is basically where like I can get. I'm not saying I'll go YouTube full time at that point, but if I get to 500,000 subscribers, it would definitely be a lot easier, and I could do more professional grade content for sure. How to train your Samsung R S C K Y the training guy. You need uh, you need more emojis. Uh, what Samsung TV did you get? So I got the Samsung uh, Neo QLED 85A, um, which is basically in the 4K Neo QLEDs. It's the second best. So there's there's the 90A and there's 85A. For me, the 90A didn't make too much of a difference, so the 85 is perfectly fine. And then uh, above that, there's the 8K variants. Uh, but uh, for 4K, I basically got the second best one there is. 75-inch uh, display, too. Very happy with that. So just got to really play around with it now and get uh, have some fun. Uh, what Sam's... Oh, yeah. Um, I want my IR Blaster back. I mean, you got this TCL, man. Just put a screen protector on it today. Uh, I'm going to be... Uh, daily driving this one instead of my OnePlus soon and change to it. I got a new case though. The case that uh, they give you with, uh, they gave me with it, uh, is is nice grip, but the buttons are just so soft. So I'm gonna get uh, another case and then uh, daily drive that one for a little bit. I mean that look, I love the TCL uh, 10 Pro last year. So the 20 Pro, I can't wait to really uh, put it through its paces. And I get my IR Blaster, so I'm all happy about that. Dirty minds think alike. Uh, question, what is the best smart TV for a good price? Thank you. Um, it really varies. I would say TCL is on top of their game, especially if you can get any of the QLED series. It's really good. Like, really good, best for the price. I would probably say TCL. Um, the bedroom TV that we have is uh, Hisense, um, and that was just because it was Android TV and great for the price. TCL's new releases are Android TV instead of Roku, which I'm very happy that they're moving that way. Android TV and Google TV are just so much better, so much more polished, so I'm all for that for sure. I definitely like it. Um, let's see. So, yeah, so, I mean, I, I like the Hisense. I got it for the price, though. I would probably, if I would recommend quality-wise, though, I think TCL is a bit better than Hisense. I would get Android TV if you can. It's just better quality overall. And then, uh, following that up, I mean, look, Samsung is great quality, but I feel that they are a bit more pricey. Um, and personally, I don't care for LG and Sony that much. I think they're great, but I think they're overpriced. Um, so again, one thing I always do say, if, if you are near a Best Buy, check out their open boxes. I used to always get open box TVs uh, for the longest time. 
Um, now I get discounts at certain places, so I don't anymore, but I used to always do that. So definitely check out, take a look at that for sure. Um, plus I got $50 accessory credit, uh, to get the watch for classic. Uh, I guess all watches did. So yeah, so you get $50 a credit if you pre-order the galaxy watch four right now. So you can think of that as on top of your trade in, right? So you can get another strap, you can get, put it towards headphones or whatever you want to do. Uh, but that's just a really cool thing you get right now with it. Didn't know you were a fan of tech stuff. Oh, got it. People know each other. Um, Ricky, did you install the beta for Windows 11? If you did, what are your uh, initial thoughts? So I did not, uh, simply because I don't have an extra Windows computer. Um, I have my personal one that I do all my editing on for YouTube and uh, all of that stuff and my daily stuff, of course. And then I do have a laptop uh, for work. Neither one I would install Windows 11 beta on just because I need something stable. So um, I did not, but I've heard good things about it, especially for one thing that I do, and that is uh, being able to, uh, basically I have an app that I got called display fusion that I needed for windows 10. And that is so that I can split my 49 inch, uh, monitor perfectly in three screens and it works just perfectly. Um, windows 11 will have that built into it. So that's really great. Uh, organizing everything is just perfect for that reason. The other thing though, is that at work and here, I plug in my laptop to my monitor. Basically, Windows will vastly improve that experience of having your screens all match up with Windows 11. So that is what I'm most excited about. The docking in the middle is gonna be a little bit different for me because I do have it all to the left. Um, so I'll see how that goes. But overall, that's the external monitors and lining up everything perfectly is what I'm gonna be in love with. And of course, I'm going to be checking out Android apps on Windows 11 as soon as they're available. Uh, so we'll, uh, don't worry, we'll cover that content November and December. And yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, I forgot. Uh, you got to select an extra watch band for free too. Uh, lots to choose from as well. Yes, definitely. Um, I didn't... Oh, yeah. Is the Fold 3 better than the Note 10? Okay, standard Note 10, Fold 3. Cameras are about the same. I think they're a little bit better on the Fold 3 from the Note 10. Um, they're the same on the Note 20 as the, uh, no, as the Fold 3. So I do think they improve slightly. Uh, battery life should be comparable. Um, way faster obviously on the fold three in terms of the processor in terms of the storage built into it it's going to be faster um and obviously you get way 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 better polished um samsung one ui so the software will feel a lot better off and newer um so is it an upgrade yeah i would say overall it's the fold three is an upgrade from the note 10. um it's hard to buy a TV from any place other than Costco. That way it's great uh, for the most expensive TVs. You get square trade uh, way for free too. That's a great, that's a great point out. I, I love Costco for usually their extended return policy more than anything else. Uh, but Costco does have some really good deals sometimes. You just always have to match them up because sometimes like my mom, for instance, she loves Costco and she thinks they're always cheaper. And I've told her in the past, I'm like, actually, this is cheaper here than Costco. And Costco gets people with bundles typically or stuff they get with it. So sometimes it is really good. Sometimes it is really good. Like there's been phenomenal deals Costco has had for electronics that you could not get anywhere else better. But sometimes, again, just always compare. If you have your heart set on one product, 
shop that product for a week, at least I would say, on every different place that carries it, and then you'll have a good idea about how much you should be spending on it. Um, you should get us some cool member emojis. Yeah, I know, Rudy, man. I got to do that. I got to do that. I just haven't been crazy with new job and still so much to do for videos. I'm trying. Behold, dear viewers, the fruits of uh, YouTube Tech Guy's labor. 50 first day questions. Shameless plug, of course. So yes, uh, for those of you who don't know, 50 first day questions is an app that I created. It's available on the Android uh, Google Play Store as well as on iOS. It's a fun game, just simple and easy. You ask your significant other a question or your first date a question and see what their answers are, see what you have in common, and see how much answers have changed after a few weeks, after a few months. They always do change and people will always be different from how they originally answered. 50 first date questions, links are in the description down below. Should I get the Note 20 Ultra or the S21 Ultra? S Pen is not important to me. If the S Pen is not important to you, then the S21 Ultra is gonna be better than the Note 20 Ultra. So yeah, get the S21. Um, it, it's better, <laughs> so yes. Uh, th there's Everything was improved from the camera to the battery, to the processor, to the built-in storage. All of that was improved from the Note 20 Ultra to the S21 Ultra. So yeah, if the S-Pen doesn't matter, then definitely. Uh, do you think the side fingerprint scanner was a good call for the flip? I kinda uh, like that. Always like the option on opening the phone. Um, the side fingerprint scanner, I do think was a good uh, way to go. I actually think the side fingerprint scanner is still way quicker and way more accurate than uh, the built-in fingerprint scanner on the display. Um, I think it's way better than the built-in uh, fingerprint scanner. Like Samsung's fingerprint scanner is still not like perfect. Um, so I actually enjoy the, um, the fingerprint scanner on the button much better. That was actually one of my favorite features of the Fold, to be quite honest. Also, are you still making a video on the Tablet uh, 7 on the Switch? Uh, yes, uh, I am. I finished recording what I needed to for that video. I had to do a lot of voiceover. Uh, basically, I had shot the B-roll, so I shot the tablet and the uh, controller doing everything but I didn't shoot the voiceover. So now I shot the voiceover today. Um, all editing though, all of it has to be in editing. So yes, uh, that should be out this week though. Ricky, why does Microsoft compete in other markets? They don't have a music service, a TV OS, a watch OS. I wish they would compete with Google and Apple in these markets. That's a very good question. Um, I think it's basically their leadership and um they have look by all means android should have never made it android should have never made it windows should have done should have been android basically if they had gone on top of it but they didn't um microsoft let android make it that far and by the time they finally got on windows mobile it was irrelevant. So that's one thing, right? Um, then, yeah, I mean, you say they don't have a music service. They had Zune. They had an entire great music service. People loved Zune, right? The badges, all that kind of stuff. Th they loved Zune, uh, but it didn't do well, obviously, because of the Zune player. But Zoom as a music service, I think, was great. Um, TVOS? That might be interesting. Uh, and Windows is getting involved in TVOS. Because they, although they don't have one themselves, they're making Office 365 work on TVs now without anything else. 
Like you can run Office 365 on TVs now. On Tizen TVs, you can run it off of it. And I'm sure they're working on Android TV as well. So it wouldn't be too far to experience that. And watches, I mean, watches is still something they could probably get into. But again, it just all depends on them. Costco, get a free jar of mayo with your phone. There you go. Bundle that up. Um, are you surprised that Xiaomi has taken over Samsung in European markets? Very surprised. And again, it's something that I just, you know, Xiaomi's not big at all in the US. Um, so yeah, I, I'm very interested to see how Xiaomi goes. I did ask you guys on a poll on YouTube and a poll on Twitter. Um, everyone either voted for the Mi 11 or the Note Pro. Um, however, the Note Pro is probably the one I'm gonna go with because the Mi 11 you actually cannot get for like over a month now. Uh, so there is a big delay with that. I'm guessing they can't, they can't make enough or um, they have a chip shortage issue. Uh, so uh, most likely I will be reviewing the Mi Note uh, Pro. Um, that's the one I'll probably be reviewing from Xiaomi in probably about a month or so after all the fold and flip and everything is um, done with. Uh, thank you for the stream. See you guys later. Oh, th thank you. Guys. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I didn't realize to hear you got a new job. Great news. Uh, way to go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I got a new job uh, three weeks in now, so I keep, I'm keeping at it, basically. Um, I pre-ordered the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic for myself and the Flip 3 for my girl. Nice, nice. I uh, really think that that'll be great. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Flip 3 is just a really great, great price. I, I just, I really will say that. Um, S10 Plus... Any upgrade suggestions, not too expensive, or just pass for now? Um, S10 Plus, I might I might wait for the S21 FE. Um, it might still come out at the end of this year. Uh, that might be one to look forward to. Um, I mean, you could obviously get the S21 Plus, or you could look at getting the Galaxy Flip 3. That is an upgrade from your S10 Plus, and again, it's a thousand bucks without a trade-in. Go check to see how much your S10 Plus trade-in might be and see if that, but if you want, if you want just, you know, really not spend too much, wait for the S21 FE or maybe even the S21 will be a lower price um, in the holiday season. Um, using the Note 10 Plus can't seem to figure out uh, paying apps. It's not the same as my S8. Am I missing something? Uh, I mean, for me, like literally, I just, uh, the pay, it's pretty simple, just swipe up and then put my fingerprint and then tap and that's it. It's just that simple. It does that motion and that's it. So, Check the Samsung Pay app, see if it's an issue, but yeah, that's all it is, is swipe up, tape your fingerprint, and pay. That's it. Who else is still waiting on pop-up hologram videos for smartwatches? <laughs> that is a while away, <laughs> but yes. Um... Guillermo, uh, is there any app to remove unwanted Samsung apps like Bigsby? Uh, Samsung Message Browser. Uh, also, I'm so happy I pre-ordered uh, offer for the Flip 3 and the Fold 3. Nice. Um, is there a way to get rid of them? I mean, you can just disable them. That's the easiest way. I mean, if you don't want them. Some of them you can install. I don't think you can completely uninstall Bigsby. Um but you should be able to for sure uh, disable most of them. So Bigsby Voice actually you can't, but what you can do is basically force close it and then for um, the mobile data or battery usage. 
And then you should be able to optimize it so it won't run uh, down your battery in the background. But yeah, that's the most you can do with that one for sure. How is the Free Guy movie? Uh, for me, honestly, I think if you're a geek, um, the Free Guy movie was easily the best movie of the year so far. I really love that I said that on Twitter. Um, for me, I have not geeked out that much, uh, like pure geek out moment as hard since Endgame. That was the last time I really geeked out that much. And it was it was awesome. So yeah, Free Guy I think is definitely a movie worth seeing in theaters. If it's safe, if if you know you're good and everything like that, I think it's a great way to go for sure. Hey Ciro, thank you so much for the super chat donation. Hey Ricky, what's up? What's your opinion on the Galaxy Book Pro 360? Are you planning on reviewing it? Uh, it would be great to hear your opinion on it. Regards uh, from Brazil. Well, thank you so much. Um, am I planning on reviewing it? As of right now, no. To be quite honest. Um, it, I'm not at the point where I can get laptops very easily and Samsung doesn't send them to me. Um, so it just, the return on investment for me, it doesn't make sense for me to get uh, that laptop. Um, what I told people though is the main thing I would get the Galaxy uh, Book Pro 360 is if I had a phone to trade in from Samsung or a tablet or an iPad to trade in because you can trade in and put that towards a laptop. I think at normal price, the Pro 360 is overpriced for what you're getting for it. Um, I, I truly do believe that, you know, Samsung's light, thin, awesome looking designs are great. And I really love the quality they put behind it. But I believe it's just overpriced. You can get the same kind of specs and everything like that on like a Dell XPS, which is better, better rated overall for a cheaper price. Now, with Samsung, again, if you trade in something and if you get it on a good sale, like in the U.S., and I'm not sure if they have this in Brazil, you can check, but in the U.S., you know, Samsung is very easy. You can get a student discount for. Basically, if you get a student email address, you get a discount for students only, and you get that discount on Samsung's website. So the really cool thing about that is, is on laptops specifically, you get deep discount sometimes. Um, like I saw one actually not too long ago. If you check out uh, slickdeals.net or download the Slick Deals app, um, I saw one the other day for a Samsung laptop. I don't know if it's still around, but it was a really good deal on one. I don't see it now. Right now I see the tablet. Like, so for instance, Right now, you can get, if you get that education discount, you can get a Samsung Galaxy S7 11 inch display 512 version, so the upgraded storage, and Galaxy Buds Pro, so the highest Galaxy Buds, for 500 bucks. That is over $500 savings to get that version. You can get that right now. So that's what student discounts are like for Samsung specifically. Um, they had, like I said, a laptop uh, recently, but they don't have it anymore, but that one was really, really good. So again, you get lots of discounts on them for sure here and there. So definitely I would, if you can get that and it'll help you out for sure a lot. Uh, Cause you can get the, like the Galaxy Book Pro for under a thousand with that discount. Why is it a given two mobile phones uh, that have the same chip set, those two phones could be different 5G bands available to be used? Um, because it depends on what they pay for it. it. It's not, just because the processor has something doesn't mean the, the mobile, pro, the mobile, um, is it called the mobile pro? No, it's not called the, um, the modem, the 5G modem is the same. It doesn't necessarily mean the 5G modem is the same. So um, those are two different components. Even though they are typically put next to each other uh, in the newest architecture, they don't have to be. And they can choose to just have the, that processor and a different modem. 
I don't want to disable them. I use uh, an app before that removed all the apps, uh, but it no longer works. Yeah, no, it's they're too embedded now. I don't think you can get an app that works like that unless you um, root it, of course. Is Plastic Frame better for signal reception and mobile service than aluminum? Yes. Um, given two mobile phones have the same uh, usable 5G bands and chipset, Yes, so plastic is definitely better than uh, aluminum. They've tried to get around it as much as possible, giving it the best quality possible, and that's why you have about four or five antennas on your phone now, as opposed to just one or two on the top that used to be. So you have a lot more antennas now than you used to, but yes, uh, glass and plastic uh, give you better signal than metal frame. What Windows laptop would you recommend? Samsung has a foldable one. I need it for school and it needs to be Windows. Um, again, I'm not, I'm always for what is ever in the best deal. So like when I used to do, uh, we used to have something on the channel, which we got rid of uh, last month, um, which was uh, tech deals uh, weekly. And basically I would have so many laptops for so many great prices. like. There was a laptop that I think would fit most students and it was like $650, so really good. So definitely there are options there, so just look out and try to find them. Um, oh, this is a laptop. I think Rudy found the laptop deal. Yeah, so look, that's the Galaxy uh, Book Pro for 665 so it's 300 plus dollars off on that deal that rudy put in the description so that's a really great deal and that would be probably for most people so that would be great package disabler for samsung got it yeah it would just it would it would disable it for you that's all it would do and then you couldn't see it, but if you would go to disabled apps, it would be at the very, very, very bottom of your app. So it would still be there. Um, hey, Ricky, when you trade in your watch, do you keep the original band that it came with the watch? No, I'm pretty sure you have to trade in the watch completely. Um, I've never tried to. Maybe that might be something you should ask Samsung customer service, because I would be interested in that. Like, if I don't have to trade this band, I'll keep it. But actually, I don't think this band will work for the new one because the new one is a smaller one, if I'm not mistaken. This one doesn't actually say uh, what millimeters it is. But I want to say that, um, that it would be a different. How do you use your Samsung uh, 980 SSD uh, directly onto the computer or inside an enclosure? Um, if it's in, if it's on an enclosure, the temperature um, that's too much hotter compared to traditional spinning hard drive. Uh, so SSDs are, are definitely not hotter than uh, regular hard drives. Um, I use my 980 inside. Uh, I do have a 980 that I have internally um, in my um, laptop uh, that I installed in the M.2 slot. Um, so yeah, that's how I've used it before. Um, you can always get an enclosure and do it that way too. But yeah. I just haven't done that with an SSD for a little bit now. Uh, I think it was still the Evo series last time I used an enclosure, put an SSD in an enclosure. Um, can a student discount be used uh, if it's not in the US? I believe so, but I don't know that because I haven't been outside of the US uh, to use that, so I'm not sure. T-Mobile only wanted to give me $28 for a Galaxy Watch. <laughs> hey, man, it's, it's whatever they can sell for it. So, yeah, it, I think Samsung's definitely going to give you the better trading value for Samsung products. Hey, yes, we are going to wrap up the stream soon. Let's just give it a few more minutes. Hey, bro, is there any way to know how many times an iPhone has been resetted? No, not that I can think of. Uh, why is there an aluminum frame uh, have antennas lines and plastic frames uh, don't have antennas line? Because they have to have the antennas lines because those antenna lines are not aluminum. They're basically plastic or another kind of material that doesn't interfere with the antennas. That's why you can see them. Um, so that's why. 
Um, I heard you can remove apps by the same way you sideload updates. Um, not that I've known, but again, I've, I've, I haven't heard of that app or anything like that, but it sounds like it just disabled them uh, from what you said. Last time I traded in the watch, only watch, uh, it was only the watch, no bands. Good to know. That's really cool. So maybe you can actually just trade in the watch itself and keep the bands. That's not bad. What if you trade in uh, with different bands? Yeah, you can trade it in with whatever bands you want, for sure. Um, I was told you don't have to send anything extra with the watch or the phone. Uh, like, I keep my old S Pen. Uh, no need for them to send the band in. Oh, that's really cool. Is it me or Ice Universe salty about something? Yeah, no, he's definitely salty about Samsung. He, I don't know, maybe he got let go of them. I, I still say Ice Universe worked for Samsung. I thought he did, but uh, a lot of other people say, no, no, he didn't. He just was really uh, good in with them for a while beforehand. Uh, do you use a heat sink or a thermal pad uh, with your 980 SSD on your laptop? No, I don't. Um, the first time I ever put a heat sink on an SSD was this one, which is what I did, um, the WD Black that I uh, am using uh, to install on my, what is it called? My PS5. So when the PS5 gets out of beta, I can finally install this uh, into um, the actual storage. And yeah, we'll be very happy to do so. Um, would you trade in the Note 20 Ultra for the Fold 3? Um, or is it a downgrade? Uh, the Note 20 Ultra has a better battery life and better cameras than the Fold 3. The Fold 3 has a faster processor, has a faster storage. Um, so yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what you're going to go through. Uh, a newer operating system. Uh, but yeah, better battery life and better camera quality on the Note 20 Ultra compared to the Fold 3. Is it worth upgrading to the Fold 3 uh, if you um, if you have an S21 Ultra? No, I do not believe so. I, I, I truly would not make that upgrade. Um, it, it's because it's not an upgrade. Your battery life and your camera quality is way better than a Fold 3. If you don't care about any of those two features, there's not really much that the Fold is giving you other than a bigger screen and a different form factor. But even Android updates, you're going to get quicker on the S21 than you're going to get on the Fold 3. So, yeah. Congrats on the 350K. Thank you very much. How do you feel about Red Magic 6? Uh, does, it, uh, get, does it get that much hot? How about 5G band? Um, I've had Red Magic 6. I had the regular, not the Pro variant. Um, really like it. Awesome phone. Best screen in the industry. Uh, just absolutely love that display, 165 hertz. Um, love the phone. Uh, just any time when I want to really just game or uh, watch stuff on, that phone is usually the phone I'll reach for uh, for a trip or something like that. What's up, brother man? Long time no here. Good to see you. Any word on the Note 21? Uh, there will be no Note 21 this year. Uh, the note will be coming coming back with a vengeance next year. Uh, that has been confirmed, by the way, by Samsung. Uh, what do you think about upgrading from the Note 10 Plus to the uh, Z Flip 3? I think the Z Flip 3 will have a slightly smaller battery, but other than that, I think it's a good uh, off trade-in for sure. Um, is the Z Flip ba camera bad or is it still pretty good? It's good. It's just not great. That's it. it it's... It's an average camera for a flagship. It's a great camera for a mid-ranger. So there you go. Awesome, appreciate the advice. So the 980 on your laptop without a heat sink, uh, thermal runs cool. Yeah, I've never had any issues with it. I never had any temperature issues with it at all for my laptop. Although my laptop does have huge fans on it. It's an MSI Raider. Uh, so it has really loud fans. They're off right now while I do this, uh, but when, when it goes, it goes. So even if there was heat in there, it would dissipate it real quick with my fans. Um, maybe I would put a thermal, uh, thermal pad on it if I had it in a uh, smaller laptop that didn't really have uh, the good fans. Ricky, is the Fold 3 better than the, uh, than the Ultra 20? So again, the, the, the Ultra 20s, 
or wait. Oh, the what? Uh, then the Note Ultra Twenty or the S Twenty Ultra Twenty or the S. Uh, then the Note again. The Note has a better camera and battery, so I would say no. Where'd you buy the Red Magic Six and how much? Uh, I got it from Red Magic. They sent it to me to review, um, but it is, I believe, five eighty uh, off of Red Magic's website. Do you know of any difference between .gov and .edu discounts? I do not. I I do not know. I don't know all Samsung's discounts, uh, but .edu is the one that uh, definitely gets probably the most attention. I would say. Um, is the Samsung 980 on your laptop running a Windows operating system? No, it's an external storage add-on, basically. I had two M.2 slots. One was taken by the built-in, uh, ver built-in one to my MSI, and the one I added with the 980 was basically an add-on for storage that I'm almost maxed out the second terabyte now. Uh, what do you think of the Galaxy S, uh, 7 FE? Uh, for me... I like that it's a big screen, but I feel like it's a little too expensive, especially for the storage amount. Uh, I wish it was a little bit less, but I would I would definitely check out that. That's going to get some EDU discounts, and that I would definitely go for. S20 Ultra versus Fold 3. Um, the S20 Ultra, for me, had a lot of focusing issues, so that kind of deterred me away from the camera. I don't think you had any. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, so you might have not, I, I had a bad experience with the S20 S, um, Ultra. Um, so for me, like the Note, I would clearly, uh, I wouldn't say it's an upgrade. For the S20, again, technically, you have a bigger battery than the Fold 3 does. And you definitely have um, what should be a better camera. Uh, but yeah, so just know that. All right, guys, so I do have to go. I ran over time, and I need to get going. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I really do always appreciate it. As always, please give a like, thumbs up before you head out. It really does help me out a lot, and share the video if you can. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Check out some more great tech videos on your